Hello again and welcome to part 6 um, and as you can see the whole quadcopter um, is actually finished um, what I did since uh, last time is that I mounted the C's and uh, got them connected properly so all the motors are going to spin the right way um, the KK board you saw me mount I just uh, mounted the receiver for the 6 channel uh, Happy King Radio, this one. Uh, I just found uh, the receiver with some uh, Velcro, and um, yeah, and you can see I put all the frame together, and in here the power distribution board uh, um, sits, and you can see there's a lot of wires soldered onto there, and you can see that this one too, this is the um, LiPo free cell buzzer uh, which I also soldered onto the power distribution board um, is also mounted and I did mount, just turn around like that you can see this one goes out um, as a power supply and um, I can just mount this battery under here and it will plug up there just fine um, and you can just turn it around like this you can see, I don't know if you can see it Oops. like that you can see I've got two pieces of, of velcro here um, which will match these two uh, on the battery um, but it isn't enough to keep it safe so I added a velcro band um, which I did super glue in here so it'll stay there and it'll just go over the uh, sorry the battery like that and it'll hold it in place and um, so and you can see that I did the landing gear um, the, oh, the landing gear is um, basically just uh, some balsa wood in the same um, diameter or same uh, width as uh, as these uh, booms or arms and I've got just cut them out um, and I glued them together down here and uh, to add a little bit of strength I just added a little bit a little triangle in here and um, all glued together and it's holding quite nice um, at first I did add them as I just put two pieces of velcro one there one there um, and held it up to took it up there um, but it wouldn't last as you can see in my maiden flight video which will be at the end of this video um, I lost one of the arms and the velcro wasn't wasn't really good so I drilled some three millimeter holes in here and put some zip ties over and um, I just added some um, some foam on here so it would get a, a quite a soft landing and and it'll it'll help um, maintain the proper size of the proper figure of these triangles. Um, I think it turned out pretty good um, and in the future I will add um, FPV gear on this. Uh, I've already ordered it from Hobby King so it will hopefully be here soon. Um, as you can see I mounted this this tube here, I just hot glued it on and um, it goes, the antenna from the um, receiver goes up in this tube and it's a 7 diam seven millimeter diameter plastic tube um, which I got from the local hardware store and um, that is pretty much my quadcopter um, make sure that you when you are building one make sure that um, you get all the proper settings um, for the ECs without the props. Um, 
if you test if the, the motors will spin the right way and so with the props um, you will lose your quadcopter you can't control it uh, when you're testing it with the props mounted so leave it off oh yeah and I always make sure to to lock tight your your screws in here um, with the prop adapters or prop savers in this case and I cut down the the motor shaft it was too long really it went up this high or something and I use this let's see Loctite 243 a medium strength um, it helps pretty good and um, first time I tested the quadcopter with the props was just over here uh, inside I uh, just wanted to make sure it'll move the right ways and uh, I didn't I didn't take off but the um, one of the screws came loose and the, one of the props came off and then I thought I need to lock tight them so always lock tight your your um, screws or bolts that's going into another piece of metal and um, of course if you want a folding frame um, you don't need to lock tight these because you, you can just screw them to, to screw them fast uh, strengthen them enough um, so they'll be there as you can just screw them off and fold the frame together that is not the important part but this this one is spinning extremely fast and you will notice that it's a, it's a, a lot of strength that you need to, to add um, so yeah and um, make sure that you program your transmitter uh, too I just I just added some Loctite on these um, ones too I thought that it would come off too too quickly or too fast um, and make sure that you balance your props um, that's a very important thing I in one of the upcoming videos I will show you how to balance your props but let's watch the maiden flight oh, that's